What is your YouTube story, Freedom Family? How did you get started on YouTube? What was your first experience? In this video, I will share Anthony Smith's YouTube story, and I want you to share yours in video to us so I can feature you in future episodes of The George Show, your story, just like I'm about to feature Anthony's. Email your clips to support at freedom.tm and we will pick the most deserving ones. And now I will answer Anthony's question from his story. And if you have a question, ask it in your video and I'll happily answer it too. Tell me of a time where you started to freak out, where you could have lost productivity, where you could have done something along these lines, but you did and you moved forward. So the best example I can give for that is when we were just starting gaming wikis and forums called the GameNet and it wasn't working. We were struggling to get views on websites and suddenly I uploaded videos about World of Warcraft three months before the Cataclysm expansion launched because a friend of mine called Donovan gave me three beta keys to that uh, expansion. Thank you, Donovan, you know who you are. And suddenly we got views on YouTube. This was when we started what became TGN. The game net is what it used to be, website, wikis, and gaming forums, to TGN as a YouTube video network. And you guys all know, when we founded TGN, it was with Big C and others that are still with Freedom and me today. And that was the best example of a time when I was freaking out because it wasn't working and we pivoted to something just to try a new strategy and it worked very well and it led to freedom and all the amazing things that we have with the Freedom family. How would you answer Anthony's question? Tell us down there in the comments below. Now I will play Anthony's YouTube story and first let me preview with a clip. And I moved off to the Philippines. Um, just hopped on a plane with like two suitcases worth of stuff and I went and it opened up so that many took doors. Guts. And you know what? It was a total gamble. I could have gotten there and uh, you know, for all I know, George would have been, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well you're here now, but you know, bye. <laughs> I'm sharing this story. I wasn't like that. Because it's, it's a huge time in my life. And this is why we want you to share your story because I'm sure it's a huge time in your life. Let us celebrate your initial start on YouTube, how you got to where you are, what motivated you to keep going so we can all help each other grow together as a family by hearing each other's stories. In his story, Anthony starts with a tip to help you grow, and I encourage you to do the same in your story. Start your video with a tip to help each other grow, and then get into your story. All right, Anthony, the show's all yours. Roll it. Freedom, welcome to my bedroom. Today, we are going to be talking about now. Not uh, when I get around to it. We're gonna be talking about now. When's the best time to start a YouTube channel? About five years ago. Second best time, right now. When's the best time to go ahead and start planning for your next YouTube video? Right now. When's the best time for you to do anything? right now there's a book that i read um heck at this point it was a couple of years ago and this book was called the now habit the now habit essentially talks about if you can do something in five minutes or less do it now don't wait don't put it off and if there's a, an immediate and long lasting benefit to doing it now do it now of course the book goes into much greater detail, and I highly recommend that you read this book. I will put a link to that book on Amazon in the link down below. As somebody who's created YouTube content for years, one of the things that I struggle with the absolute most is analysis paralysis. I will sit and I will think, okay, is, is my bed made? Is it made enough? Do I have everything uh, ironed out? Is, does my shirt look good? And don't get me wrong, these are all great things to tackle. However, if I spend five hours thinking about and stressing about those things rather than literally going ahead, making the bed to some level, 
making sure that, hey, you know what? Yeah, this shirt's good enough. That's like five hours that I'm not making content. That's five hours I'm not editing content. Another thing that I has, has stuck with me since the very first time that I heard it is from a movie called Van Wilder. In the movie, Van Wilder has a couple of interesting things to share, but one of them is that worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. And I'm not saying that everything equals worry. Sometimes you do want to create yourself a mental checklist of things to do uh, before you before you do something else. In the end, especially with online video, where kingdoms are made not by who does it best, always, sometimes by who does it first, and also who can get out there and cover a topic in the greatest, um, the greatest detail overall, not necessarily in a single video. There is definitely a place for highly polished, highly produced, highly edited, highly scripted content. And those, those niches are great. And I love a lot of that content. However, when it comes down to it, a lot of us are all learning right now how to do these things. We're learning how to edit. We're learning how to connect with our audience and potential other audiences. There is an absolute crap ton of value in the concept of doing it now. In preparation for this very video, I actually had to clean off my nightstand because, I mean, let's face it, my nightstand wasn't, uh, wasn't the cleanest. A big event, no big deal. I had to put on another shirt because how honest do I want to be here? The shirt I was wearing 20 minutes ago had some blood on it. It wasn't mine. It's a long story, but that's okay. So of course, I'm not saying if you're in my situation, you should go ahead, turn on the camera and start filming with, for in my case, a messy bed, uh, bed table. I'm not saying you should not make your bed and I'm not saying that you should show up in a blood soaked shirt. Oh no, 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 no. What I am saying is, a lot of us get trapped in this, this idea, this concept of, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. We spend more time worrying than doing. Literally getting ready to film this video, uh, I, I did. I spent about 30 minutes looking at everything going, I have so much to do. And then that little part of my brain said, you know what, I have three basic tasks, each one's gonna take about five minutes, get it done, start filming. And that's exactly what I did. YouTube can be a very, very toxic place. It can also be a place full of love. It can be a place of acceptance. And when it comes down to it, five years from now, no one in their right mind is going to be looking back and pointing out things like, my pillowcases don't match. And if they are, that's okay. Those people are perfectly within their rights to point out that pillowcases don't match. But in five years, is that gonna matter? No. What will matter is the fact that I got this video out and the following video out and the next video and the next video and the next video. Using this very example, I could have very easily convinced myself that I couldn't possibly have started filming this video until I went out to the store, I purchased replacement pillowcases and got them on the bed, or I could have convinced myself, I should go ahead, I should take those pillows off the bed because they don't match. And that way, people won't freak out about that. Broseph, it's not that deep. For most content, nobody cares. And honestly, as a content creator, there are certain things that you will just have to learn to take in stride. In two years, in five years, that, small potatoes. But little things like that, adding up, keeping you from actually creating content, connecting with people, changing lives, getting information out there, those things add up in missed opportunities, in anxiety, and in so many other things. So if I can give you any more advice, Stop waiting, start doing. Worry less, do more. And like is said by the great Van Wilder,
Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. In the comment section down below, I want you to share with me stories about any time where you have personally conquered, even if it's a small thing. I, I don't care. I want to know a time where you've conquered something by just saying, okay, let's do this. It can have to do with YouTube or content creation. It can have to do with your personal life. And that's fine. I don't care. But I do want to hear stories. I want to hear how you overcame a time when you could have stressed about something, worried about something, or let something get you down. But you just said, you know what? I'm moving forward. I'm doing it now. And let's go. And of course, I wouldn't ask anything of you that I wouldn't have done myself. So I will share with you a, uh, a story that you may kind of already know if you've been following Freedom and myself for a while. Um, but I wanted to give something personally of me because that's what I'm asking of you. Back in 2015, I was uh, living in North Carolina and Freedom was my side job. And I absolutely loved it. And I, uh, I had uh, some marital issues. Uh, and unfortunately, my marriage ended. But um, my marriage ended. I needed to move out of North Carolina. I lost my, my day job, my main job. Um, and, you know, I very easily, I could have, I could have shut down. I, at that time, I moved in with my, my mom and my, my stepdad and my brother. And uh, that was, you know, that was, of course, you know, that, that, that hit me. Like, you know, starting back from square one, from scratch, it was scary. It was hard. You know, I, uh, I just, it's, it would have been really easy and understandable for me to just need to, to, to take I got a job offer. Well, I got an expanded job. George from Freedom reached out to me and he said, Hey, Anthony, I want you to come out to the Philippines. And my internal reaction was um, one of kind of fear. Uh, I, I didn't know much about the Philippines. Uh, and I, you know, what I did know was it was a developing nation or as some people refer to it, a third world country, which I don't like that term, but it's another story. Um, and, you know, that's what I knew of it. And I, you know, it, it was it was a scary prospect. But I did end up moving out there and I tur it turned out I absolutely loved it. It was an amazing experience, but I needed to go ahead and say, I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to wallow in self-pity. I am not going to um, to worry about what happened yesterday. I'm going to worry about what I can do today. What I ended up doing was I took about, I don't know, a month or so to get my affairs, get my life in order. And I moved off to the Philippines. Um, just hopped on a plane with like two suitcases worth of stuff, and I went. And it opened up so many doors. And you know what? It was a total gamble. I could have gotten there. And, uh, you know, for all I know, George would have been... <laughs> okay, well, you're here now. But, you know, bye. I'm sharing this story. Because it's, it's a huge time in my life. And hopefully something that many of you can understand. That's definitely a hard situation to be in. You know, essentially having kind of lost everything, starting over fresh, and having the option to do it stateside where things are kind of familiar, or um, in a whole new country with, where, you know, English is spoken, but it's not the main language. And um, it's, you know, it, it was definitely scary. It was something that I very easily could have, you know, just, just freaked out over. Um, but I'm so glad I didn't. And you know what? When you're sitting in your bedroom, when you're sitting in your office, when you're making your next video and you realize I've got to hang nail. You're when you realize my pillowcases don't match. 
when you realize, you know, that th there are these little bitty roadblocks that could derail things entirely, and you decide to step past them, when you decide that I'm not going to let this little thing ruin this video, I'll try to fix it for the next, when you realize that the, the aggregate of your content is more important than any one particular video, that, that is power. That knowledge, that ability to step into a, a healthy place, that is powerful. So, I'll ask again. Please share with me sometime in your life, your YouTube uh, career, in your school career, whatever. Tell me of a time where you started to freak out where you could have lost productivity, where you could have done something along these lines, but you didn't, and you moved forward, and you stopped waiting, you started doing, and it worked out. Or, alternatively, maybe it didn't work out. Let us learn from your mistakes as well. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with these stories. Maybe in a future video, I'll go through the comments and we'll discuss them, but I know I will be in the comment section down below responding to everybody and that sort of thing. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that absolutely, positively make me love my job. Bye. I hope you enjoyed Anthony's story. I certainly did. And I hope you will share your story with us by emailing it to support at freedom.tm, a Google Drive link ideally, so we can download it in the raw video format. All right, Freedom Family, if you missed any episodes of The George Show, click that eye to see my playlist of all the videos that I've made in case you missed any. And who am I? I am the George of The George Show, the Papa George, George Sun Pie, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! for freedom and the freedom family and freedom games and MGN and the MGN Minecraft community server that we are launching very soon. Didn't know that? Click that eye to see the video where at nine seconds I previewed the spawn of where all of you will be able to start when you sign in to our new shiny Minecraft server with no limits. You'll have more than 2,000 people, 3,000 people, as many as can fit on the server when it launches. As you can see, I'm a little excited about that project. We've tried to have a community server several times, and we, I hope, <laughs> this time it'll be here for many years. And of course, Freedom Games, which is our game publishing division of Freedom. Click that eye in case you didn't know we're publishing games now. Where the big benefit is you get early access to the games we publish before everybody else on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook, so you can make videos so that on launch day, you have the first search results for games coming to you. And our first game is Dreamscaper. That eye up there will show you that game. It's already been out 10 days and it's been doing very well. And I'd love to hear, I'd love to show you the next game as soon as we have it ready for public announcement that we're going to be publishing in the near future. All right, Freedom Family. Stay healthy, stay safe, and if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to Freedom Central so you don't miss an episode. Click that, no, gong, that notification bell, so you don't miss an episode. I've said that twice. All right, Freedom Family. Looking f I am looking forward to, your, to hearing your YouTube story, and I am George, and you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah.
click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get Epidemic Sound, a lot of other access to royalty-free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.